Welcome to Ucanic. Today we have a 2021 Mazda CX-9 and we have a bunch of things that are illuminated on the instrument clusters and so we've done a full system scan to go through the diagnostic here. So we have a parking um, with an exclamation point, we have ABS, we have our little squiggly line down here and then over here we also have a warning and we have things coming up. Forward smart city brake support has got a malfunction, smart brake system malfunction, and then a front camera sensor has a malfunction. Front radar sensor has a malfunction. And I believe those are the four. And then of course, service pass two. Well, so done a full system scan with the scan tool, uh, you can dash two. And we've got a few fault codes in here. Number one, we've got the uh, anti-lock brakes. So we've got the right front wheel speed sensor. We have an issue in there. And that is a C0034 14-8B. And then if we go down, we've got our electronic parking brake and that is receiving invalid data from the anti-lock brake system um, or the ABS system. And then again, some more uh, miscommunication from the ABS, uh, miscommunication from the ABS, and um, that's just a control module one. And then again, the ABS, and then this last one is our four by four. Also um, bad, um, invalid data from the ABS. So that was a full system scan. And now you could just go through the control modules and select yeah, each individual module if you want. There's 20 different modules on this vehicle. Um, we'll go the ABS. Read the code. And we have the one that's saying right front wheel speed sensor and the C0034. Um, 14 8 B. And so we're going to go over that process in which it is to be able to replace the front ABS wheel speed sensor because everything seems to be stimming from that and it's kicking off a bunch of these different lights. So we'll show you how to do that. So over here in the right front wheel well, we're able to be able to replace our wheel speed sensor on this vehicle. So of course you would need to raise the vehicle, remove the tire, support it on jack stands, and then being able to access this we need to be able to reach up in here there is an electrical connector up in there so it's fairly simple we just need to pull these little clips down and there uh, you know pull the center out and then you'll be able to pull the clip out same one with this one so those two you'll be able to get enough there is a third one here we're going to try and pull this one out and see if we have even a little bit easier access and now being able to pull this out you can reach up in there all right so we're going to pull this um, shield back or the wheel liner and then you either need to reach up in there and squeeze the clamp or just take your pick tool and go from this side where you can unlock the clamp and then be able to pull it under so we do that and then we've got a clip up here. So we're gonna have a clip up here. We're gonna to wanna to pull out. There we go. And then we just continue to work our way. All right, so we came around the back side here after I'm doing the other clips over there. And we have this one down here. I gotta just don't open the, the clamp there. And then that way now our ABS wheel speed sensor cable is free. And then we need a 10 millimeter to undo the bolt that holds it in. These are generally just kind of should be just a bit snug in there. They're really just to make sure these don't um, fall out. So undo our 10 millimeter bolt and now being able to hopefully move it a little bit 
to be able to get it to come out. There we go. Just a little uh, move it side to side and then being able to pull out. Sometimes they can be pretty uh, um, stubborn to get out. This one wasn't too bad. So um, put it back on, uh, or put a new one on. We we'll just go through the reverse process, and then by lining it up, press it in, and then tighten up our 10 millimeter bolt that holds it on here. snug and then being able to feed this back around the back side of the uh, strut here through the um, around the back side of the strut mount but on the inside of the sway bar link is where you want to go with that and then we do have this one to put back in this little clamp if you undid the clamp like that, we're going to hook this other one over here. So that we give it enough of the slack there before we clamp that down. And then again, we take this, we have our connection there, come back up in here. Pulling this uh, little well, well liner back down, and we've got this clip to push in here, and then reaching in here and reconnecting up the electrical wire. Press until it clips, then you can go ahead and put your little push uh, pins back in here. Um, the next thing is you would need to use your scan tool. The, to be able to go back into the system, have it with the key on um, in the wrong position, but the engine not started, and then be able to clear out the codes that were caused by a bad, um, faulty ABS wheel speed sensor. So that's how you would replace that. Um, if you've got some codes and you've come to your conclusion that it to start with your ABS wheel speed sensor um, on your 2021 Mazda CX-9. Thanks for watching Nucanic, where you can be the mechanic.